I got a new camera mount and I don't like it. I'm at putting it all over the front window, had it on the dash. I just don't like it. But anyway, listen, we are on the move. This is our French Connection 2024. Roll the credits. Second campsite on our journeys, we are heading to Rennes, but first we're heading off to do a little bit of shopping in Avrange. There's a big car for there and I want to stock up with some food and just basically take a look around and see if I can buy any gadgets for camping. I need to get one of those new square reflectors. I borrowed one from my buddy, the Mac, to hang on the back of the bikes. I don't think I need them because I have a new bike hitch and the lights are in front of it, but let's play it safe. Anyway... After Avrange, we are heading to Rennes, to a campsite we have never been to before. I would put the name of it here because, to be honest, I just can't pronounce it. I think it's De Gale. De Gale. I don't know. There's the name of it there. And in fact, the name would have come up on the credits at the beginning anyway. It's only a half hour drive from Avrange. It's actually only half an hour drive from this campsite where we are now in... Um, Le Mans Saint-Michel, but we're going, as I say, half an hour up to Avrange, do a bit of shopping, hang around there for a while, and then head down towards a campsite. We're staying in Rennes for two nights. It's a campsite that we have never stayed in before. I just want to stay there to break the journey up on our way to Ile de Ré. Ile de Ré, we are staying for four nights. I'm a two-nighter when we're on holidays, but I promised Deirdre this year, four nights in Ile de Ré because we love Ile de Ré. I don't know if you can see, but Charlie is there, already locked in. When Charlie's travelling and Deirdre's with us, He's on the table. On the table are that green stuff you get to stop your Dell from sliding around. And then we put a towel on top of that. And then he's hitched into the seatbelt. Thank God, touch wood, we've never had need to jam on the brakes and see if it works. But he's never slid off the table yet. So, little bit of road footage. I'll throw the map in here of where we're going to Wren. A uh, little bit of road footage from Avrange. You'll see us pulling out of this campsite. I've got to go and dump the grey water. Fill up our water tank because it's empty. Head to Avrange. We'll show you a little bit of road footage making our way out of Le Mans Saint-Michel. Um, skip the Avranche thing. The next time we'll be talking to you, we'll be on the campsite in Rennes. Uh, if you're not watching this live, you can skip the road footage here, but I recommend you just watch the road footage. It's only usually about two or three minutes. Right, let's hit the road.
second stop on our French Connection 2024. I've put the name of the campsite here, but I'm pronouncing it Camping the Gales with a Y. But that's where we are now. We're about five kilometers from Rennes. We have never been here before. Um, when you arrive, you get this, which is the campsite, and then you get information of how to get into town, cycle lanes. But what intrigues me about this is they give you earthquake guidelines in case there's an earthquake, what to do. They also give you storm guidelines, but they give you loads of information. First impressions with me matter. When we pulled in, it's a beautiful drive through a wooded area, and it looks like you come past some kind of like club, activity centre, playground. And then when you pull in at the arrival set down area, there's a bit of a campsite to your right hand side. We saw a lovely T3 like ours, my T3 dream. That was there, same colour blue. There's tents, there's a little playground. You walk into reception, they get your reg plate, so you pull up to the barrier and that lets you in and out. Barriers close at 11 o'clock night time. They give you this map with all the information. He gave us pitch 29, which is literally around the corner. Reception is there. The toilets are there. There's actually two toilet and shower blocks there, a baby changing area, a washing, dishwashing. They don't call it a camper's kitchen. It's just sinks with hot and cold water. There's a minimal shop in reception and then you order your bread before 6 p.m. this evening for tomorrow, which is basically the same with a lot of campsites. So first impressions, myself, Deirdre and Charlie went for a walk. Wow. There's 126 pitches. They've got seven, 18 chalets, which I will show you, but I'm going on the bike. We can't fly the drone here. It's a restricted area. They've got another nine chalets outside, seemingly. There's a walkway through here where you can go to a restaurant. If, like us, you've got a dog, keep them on the lead. There is a big, massive bunny rabbit over there looking at us. There's two cats gone past there, and they said there's squirrels on sight. And you'll see why there is. The amount of wood in this area is beautiful. I'm going to insert a photo here of our pitch. It's ginormous, and we have grass on the right and grass on the left. Some of the pitches, as we make our way down, you'll see, are just... Now, they're big, but they're cement slabs with no grass, and then some have grass. So, let me put this away. Put the GoPro onto the bike. I'll take the Belize, because I have a choice now. I'll take what I'm calling Deirdre's bike. <laughs> we'll go for a spin around. And I'll also bring a camera, because I'll hop off the bike. This is a big place, so I won't be going through all the nooks and crannies, but let's go for a spin.
some reason my main camera just died so it switched over to my phone as you can see from the footage while we're cycling around there are cabins cabins like this and this there are three or four of these on site and they're all nestled in the woods there's a toilet block over there but I'm sure they all have toilets this campsite is beautiful. Let's get back in the bike and show you around the rest of it. the entrance is you pull up here for the resting area that's the other little camped area I was telling you about entrance is there grey water area there bins are here these are the only bins on site and they clearly tell you what is to go in to each bin so you rest up here there is a play area and adventure center in behind those trees. I don't know if it's anything to do with the campsite. But we can hear the hustle of the kids. It sounds absolutely brilliant. There's a play area. You'll see it as we make our way in on the bike. Um, at reception area. Reception staff are fantastic. There's a big sign up. We speak English. Uh, and chap, the, In fact, the chap that signed us in had been to Ireland. He was wearing a clatter ring. So let me hop back in the bike and make our way in through the reception area. So I went for a spin. You've seen, aren't those cabins fantastic? The, the ones that are all covered in logs and some of them are covered in false grass. Um, then you saw there's a separate toilet block over there. We have three toilet blocks here beside us. Now myself and Deirdre took the two bikes for a spin earlier on and we went down to the restaurant, which is literally out the gate. It's a five minute walk out the gate, but there's a lake there. Loads of people were lying out in the grass. The restaurant weren't save, serving food yet, but there was plenty of drink to be had and coffees and wine. But when we came back, Deirdre said, you got to go down and video some of that. So this piece of video is that. And then tomorrow morning, two big crows up there chatting. Tomorrow morning, we'll do the wrap up and we let you know if I slept through that and how we got on. But take a look. This place looks awesome. <laughs>
I've said it already in this video. I'm not even going to try and pronounce where we are because chances are I'm getting it wrong. I know we're five kilometers outside Wren and that's the name of the campsite. I mentioned earlier on, first off, impressions. Beautiful. We slept like logs last night. The birds that I was on about stopped crowing and stopped fighting. Hasn't been as many rabbits around today. I saw a couple of squirrels. Um, I had an occasion to take the Belize Deirdre's bike into town. I broke my watch strap, so I was gone for about an hour riding around Wren. Um, lots of cycle lanes and lots of people on scooters and e-bikes. But back to the campsite. Right, we're lucky on Space 29. The towers and toilets, toilets are just here. They're spotless, absolutely spotless. Hand cream. They use paper towels, not wind machines, hand dryers. Um, we've now there's is it two or three pitches that they have here i think it's two pitches a standard pitch and a super pitch remember you saw it on there standard pitches seem to be like at home a standard pitch you get a bit of hard cement or tar and a piece of grass here you get a lot of cement for the super pitch now we're on a super pitch we are paying 35 euro a night four euro of that a night is for charlie so 31 euro a night and i saw on one of the pages pitches start off at 26 euro a night uh, with electric hookup the other ones don't have water you're not as close to the toilets as the super pitches are also in sight there are little huts and i'm calling them huts because they only literally sleep two people if you're a real camper and you've got your camping gear they're there you would have seen the chalets that we showed you and then there's a tent area just outside that reception and there's a tent area just here in front of us as well. So caravans, camper vans, tents, they take the whole lot. It's beautiful. We were just saying, with the little bit of disappointment that I had at Le Mans Saint-Michel, this could be our new first place to go because it's two, two and a half hours to here. It was two, two and a half hours to Le Mans Saint-Michel. So I'd kind of nearly head on down here tomorrow we're going to Ile de Ray to a campsite now we're staying there for four nights on the island of Ile de Ray if you look back in the videos from last year go to charlieandme.ie click on the map blow up the map and you see France we love Ile de Ray but the site that we normally stay on was booked solid the last time we were here we've got it for this year it's an Eden campsite part of the Eden group and in fact I got a comment on one of our pictures on our YouTube channel of a couple who stayed there only two or three days ago, and they were here. They left here the day before we got here, and we could have met up with them. Wren itself, everything, museums, history, river walks, shopping, ah, everything that a big city has. We don't do nine out of 10, eight out of 10. We don't do stars, but this is a campsite that we will definitely be coming back to, please God. The layout is beautiful, it's spotless. The staff are nice. I think the 70 quid for two nights is worth it. Even though, as I say, eight quid of the two nights money is for this guy here. Um, yeah. Oh, and that park, literally a five minute walk to the park that has the restaurant that I took the bike out on earlier on. You would have seen it. Yeah, everything. So there's the name of the campsite. All the details will come up, as always, on the end of this video. Deirdre, by the way, was using the camper fryer that we did a review on from our friends at Camping Stuff. Absolutely loved it. Had it for breakfast. She was doing sausages and eggs in that this morning. Didn't trip. We're on 10 amp power here anyway. But So that's working out fine. The two of us got lots of use out of the e-bikes with thanks to our friends at Cruise. They're working out fine. i got to be honest. I'm loving Deirdre's new one. I love my KR2. Well, I'm loving the Belize. Right, from Charlie Brown, from me, from Deirdre, who's busy planning the rest of our holiday. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.